Today I'm gonna show you why you need to buy this set for any of your action figures, even if you're not into Dragon Ball. So pay attention, folks. Let's get into it. It is, of course, and it's official. Those are the seals you gotta look for, folks, when you're buying Dragon Ball stuff. You want the seals to know it's real. Seals, it's reals. Look, this is something I've been really excited to open up, and thanks to Vex, say thanks, Vex, in the chat, he sent this over along with some other figures so we get to take a look at this thing on this channel and I didn't have to buy it. But I think that this is going to be something that I love so much that I will buy one because I wanted to and then he sent me one, but it doesn't matter. We're here today to take a look at this thing, see what all's in the box, which we know this unique faceplate is in there. So I'm thankful for that. And then of course the hand with the chopsticks. Look at it. Look at these exclusive accessories that are in this packaging. I did not know that the backdrops were there. It's got super modeling. It's got set content in simple style and heroic action, folks. We know that we need a box to have heroic action. Otherwise, you don't even want to bother and waste your time. So let's open this thing up and take a look at everything that's inside the Hadahachi Bunmei Seto. Wow. That is a lot of stuff. That is honestly, surprisingly, a large amount of stuff. And I did not expect that. I thought it was just gonna be like a few bowls and plates. So this is incredible. And look, have you ever just watched one of those anime clips of food? It's just any time there's food in anime, it is done so perfectly. It is very appetizing. And look, this little bowl of ramen is no exception in figure form. You get all of these details and it's just the right amount of detail because it still plays in the Dragon Ball universe. It even has the pattern going around the edge of the bowl. This is such a great thing, a great set. I'm already into it. Look at the fried rice. Oh my goodness. So we have two layers of things. The bottom was taped in there, so we got to separate that. Look at the backdrop here. It is just a cardboard set up, which is a bit of a bummer, but we do have the instructions in there as we usually do with figure art stuff. But I'm just gonna take everything out of the plastic here and then cut back to you guys. You know, to watch me do this. Waste your time, I'm not here to do that. Okay, so let me just read the list of things off of this instruction sheet because we have a lot of stuff and maybe it's not clear what it is. So let's get into it. We have interchangeable face parts, hand parts, chopsticks, fork, ramen, rotating table, chairs, cushions, roasted pork, fish, fried rice, Chinese steamed buns, bottles, teacups, small bowls, bowls, dishes, background sheets, and instruction manual. So this <laughs> is a full set, folks. For the value, this thing is substantial. This is a lovely setup. I'm a big fan. But the instruction set basically lets you know how these things are intended to be. So what you can put the steam buns on, all that stuff, just to kind of have a little bit of fun. The backdrops, the tabletop. So let's put this tabletop together because it's pretty straightforward. You got a little uh, t -t -t tube style thing. <laughs> Very straightforward. And then yes, it has a lazy Susan in the centerpiece. So uh, pretty cool, I like it. It is very Dragon Ball. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about these things though, because there's like this level of like coloring and details that doesn't really seem to fit. Like the highlights and the shadows and seem, seem a little bit much, but whatever, it's just a backdrop. It's gonna be fine. And because of that, we can just kind of set these things off to the side because it's not gonna make sense for an overhead camera, is it? No, it's gonna be good for the B-roll, which is like this thing on the screen right now. That's called B-roll, folks. All right, so the table, boom, cool, love it. Chair, like that, cushion, just pops on there. It does have no way to lock in, which is a bit of a bummer, because you would think with something like this, having it locked in place would be a great way <laughs> to handle it, because it's just gonna slide around every time you start moving your figures and stuff, but whatever. Chair number one, chair number two, and there's only three. That's kind of a bummer too. Having four seems to be standard, right? But if you're gonna put it in the corner with this setup, doesn't matter. You gotta have three friends. And oh, see, this is the only other thing with it, is there are no face plates or hands for the other characters to do this, right? There's no other set out there so that you can have like Vegeta or Gohan sitting there eating with him, right? This is gonna be exclusive Goku only. The crazy part about these little bowls is that there's just a ton of them, which, you know, to, to recreate a nice Dragon Ball scene, you definitely wanna have, <laughs> oh no, the base, 
the base and the cushions. I can't seem to get this base to lock in comfortably, so that's gonna be super annoying if you put everything on there and then pick it up like this and the bottom comes off. However, if you want to recreate a Dragon Ball scene, yes, you need to have tons and tons of plates because he just keeps eating. Goku is a hungry, hungry boy. I and mean, what's the deal with that? And it seems to be a common thing with anime stuff that the heroes, like, like, like this guy. Very, very hungry. At least in the live action, I assume the anime is also the same. The biggest challenge out of this whole set is probably like not losing stuff because look at how tiny this freaking fork is, man. It's nano sized. <laughs> if I were you, I would stick it in the fist, which has the cutout for the fork specifically. My camera's gonna go crazy because there's so much on the screen. Let's move some stuff out of the way here. See if we can't get the focus to stay focused. <laughs> I'm stupid. So this hand has the cutout for the fork and you're definitely going to want to keep that in there because look, I mean, this is just going to be lost so easily. Obviously you, you kind of live in a world of like possibly breaking that because it's so tiny. I don't know. I, I think this is just a safer way to do it, right? Then you have this hand right here, which is going to hold the chopsticks and it's so perfectly cut out. And the nice thing about the chopsticks is that they are just bonded together it's just one piece right so you don't have to worry about having one and losing another so that is also going to be something to worry about losing and anybody good with chopsticks would hold it further back right that's how you know you're really good at it <laughs> and then this hand which is just going to be good for holding things you got to have a good holding hand right so you'll be able to put a plate in there probably but that's a good hand it locks in decently it's not perfect but if you push hard enough you can kind of get a good grip and see how it locks into the palm of the hand. Nicely done. And then the face itself that has the, uh, you know, face chipmunk style full of goodies. And always reference your uh, <laughs> instructions, folks, because you don't want to be like me and look like an idiot. You have a ramen dish specifically with the pattern on the side. But what works with these goodies is going to be uh, plates. That's it. So you can put steamed rice on there. You can put, where am I? You put the ramen in that one. <laughs> The rice on that, you could put the, um, what did they call it? Roasted pork on another plate, and then the fish on another one. So it looks beautiful. It's a great simple setup, but my God, this is really just a nice little way to have a diorama kind of setup, right? Because this is so <laughs> limited to what you can do with it by your imagination. Say that was the trick. You're only limited by your imagination. You can do a ton of stuff with this. You can recreate some draw, some, some, John Wick scenes, or really a, a ton of tusks, a ton, a ton of tusks. You can recreate a ton of tusks. I'm so sad about my brain. This is what the bottle looks like, which is clearly a beer bottle. There's no hole in the top, so it's just cut straight off. It's flat. It's simple. There's no labels or anything, but if you know somebody that can make labels, they could clearly make labels for these things. <laughs> but there you go. Beautiful little sets, you get the little cups. They're so tiny, they're kind of a, a pain to, <laughs> to manipulate. These tiny, tiny little bowls. Never talk about how small a man's bowls are, but these steamed buns look really good. I mean, they're simple, but the sculpt is there and they really have that, that finish, that look of like a real steamed bun. I love it. The roasted pork is looking good. It's got a nice shine to it, which is appropriate because it is uh, roasted, right? <laughs> Fried rice, I don't know, did we look at this already? Look at that. Pretty good details, all kinds of goodies in there. Fish, which is sitting into some some kind of sauce, I don't know, but it also looks roasted. It's simple, it's a nice sculpt. And of course the ramen, which we did look at, but let's, let's just go into a little more details. Look at that, I love it. Those are not giant potato chips, <laughs> despite what it may look like. But I am very much a fan of this set. So the question is, should you get it? Yes, the answer is yes, obviously, look at it. I mean. Didn't you, didn't you already solve that question at the beginning of this thing? And throughout this whole video, I've been showing you awesome little setups with the display. So if you have this thing, come on, tag me in social media. I'm on Instagram, Twitter. We don't talk about Facebook. So if you have these things, take a picture, tag me in it. I wanna see what you're doing to recreate some famous scenes or come up with some new stuff. Are you using different characters that aren't in the Dragon Ball universe and taking advantage of all of these great goodies? As great as this whole set is, there is one major flaw. What is it? It's this. Depending on which Goku you have, you have Saiyan raised on Earth or you have Superhero. 
the colors of their skin are so drastically different and he's not as yellow as he seems on camera. I hate that it does that. I don't know what kind of white balance I need to do to balance this. It just never works. See, it is a perfect match to the skin tone of the body with this face. If you want to try to put it on this superhero version, which was the one that I liked the most, by the way, out of the two. <laughs> Look at that. He's got jaundice, folks. I hate it. And that is something that I should have known about during the review, the comparison between these two figures to find out which one is the definitive one because this kind of rules him back out of the equation, doesn't it? I mean, I, he's still the best looking in my opinion, but this one is the only way to get these accessories to work because not only this faceplate, but the one that comes with the fighting like effects. But man, is that not just a fantastic little setup to have. I just, it would be great to have an accessory set that had faceplates for tons of different characters so they could all enjoy this kind of family dining experience. This is so good, it's so good. For people that wanna do prop stuff and uh, you know, like have miniature food and things for your figures, this is a wonderful set. I'm already in love with it and it's gonna work really well with things outside of SH Figure Arts. So this is why you need to buy this set regardless of having SH Figure Arts. And if you're a Dragon Ball fan, then guess what? I have things to for you. Of course, like this. It's based on my latest drawing, and this is just a, this is a test print on a different type of paper. But I will most likely have these available as a like a full five by fifteen print. But the most important thing is right now the big old giant desk mat. Look at that thing. That's beautiful. I ordered one for myself. So take advantage of that, support the show, and have something nice in your collection. But I want to thank you all for being here and watching this video. If this is the first time you've shown up on Nostalgia Unbox, let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.